Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm super excited to show you another favorite chicken recipe. We're making lemon garlic butter chicken drumsticks. This recipe is all about marinating the chicken, then putting them in the oven to roast. It's super easy to make and very delicious. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so I have some chicken drumsticks in a Ziploc bag. I have about 10 chicken drumsticks in here, and I'm going to leave all the ingredients and measurements in the description box. We're going to marinate the chicken in the Ziploc bag. So first, I'm going to add some sliced onions. I'm tossing things around so the onions can get in there. Then I'm going to set this aside and we're going to make the marinade. To make the marinade, I have some olive oil in my bowl. Into that, I'm going to add a whole lot of minced garlic. Next, we're adding the zest of one whole lemon as well as the lemon juice. This is going to give the chicken a nice lemony flavor. It's going to be so good. All right, next we're going to add some dried herbs. I have some parsley, oregano, basil, and thyme going in. We also have some good spices. I have paprika, ground cumin, and coriander going in. And last, we're going to season with salt and pepper. Go ahead and mix everything together. And this is such a good marinade for chicken. You can even put this on chicken breast. All right, once everything is mixed in, you're going to pour the marinade onto your chicken and onions. Next, all you have to do is zip the bag and toss the marinade around. Make sure it gets on every single piece of chicken. And I couldn't get the marinade everywhere, so I had to use my hand to toss things around. So if you're going to make this many drumsticks, make sure you use a bigger bag, okay guys? All right, once you get the marinade everywhere, you're going to close your Ziploc bag and make sure you get all the air out. This way, the chicken can soak in the marinade very well. Next, we're going to place the chicken in the fridge to marinate for at least two hours. The longer your chicken marinates, the more flavorful it gets. So you can even go overnight if you have the time. That's what I did. So this was the next day. My chicken marinated for over 24 hours. I'm going to toss the chicken together with the onions into my baking pan, then arrange them very nicely. By the way, if you think I'm talking funny, I have nasal congestion right now. I don't have COVID. My nostrils are just a little effed up, so I'm sorry if my words are a little mumbled. Once you've arranged your drumsticks, you're going to place some butter onto each drumstick. This is going to make the chicken a little crispy on the outside and also add to the flavor. Last, we're going to add some lemon slices. Just randomly place them in between the chicken. Then this is ready to go into the oven. So in order to make sure that we get the cooking temperature and the timing right, I'm going to use my Smart True cooking thermometer. And this thermometer was sent to me to use in today's video. I really like it, so I'm going to leave a link in the description box if you guys are interested. All I have to do is insert the probe into the thickest meat I can find because that's obviously going to take the longest to cook. And the safe internal temperature for cooked chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to set my thermometer to 165 Fahrenheit. You can also set it to Celsius. Next, I preheated my oven to 450 Fahrenheit. I'm going to place my chicken in there and let them roast for 40 to 45 minutes. And as you can see, my thermometer probe is still stuck in the chicken while the thermometer is sitting on the counter. As soon as the chicken reaches internal temperature of 165 Fahrenheit, the thermometer is going to alert me right away. So my thermometer is telling me my chicken has reached 165 Fahrenheit. It took exactly 40 minutes. I like the thermometer because it shows you the safest temperature and the right cooking time. That way you don't overbake or underbake your chicken. Now this part is optional, but I like a little bit of color on my chicken. So I'm going to broil it for like two minutes just to give it a nice golden brown color. And that's it, you guys. The chicken came out so good, very juicy, and it smells delicious. Now, I've tried this recipe with so many sides, but I feel like the best way to eat this is serve it over rice. It's so good. Sauteed rice, to be exact. 
and look at all that yummy sauce the sauce is just amazing the chicken came out very tender this is such an amazing recipe very easy to make if you guys want to make this check out the description box i have all the ingredients and measurements there and if you're interested in the cooking thermometer also check the description box i'll leave a link and all the details there 